solutions consultant with Beyond 20 and this video will be a quick demonstration on the adaptive forms in ShareWell version 9.3.1. Um, I would uh, like to first start off with kind of showing you what the adaptive forms can do and so here on my screen is where you would normally see a, an incident and this is configured for one of the clients I've been working with and uh, so what, what I wanted to do is just very quickly show you the end result once you have those adaptive forms all set up so we have our incident in a standard layout and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink the client window down to a certain size um, the requirements for this goal was to make this form visible and create an adaptive form that folks could use who use a, a tablet or a smartphone or something to that extent. And so what I want to do is take my incident form and reconfigure it in such a way that it can be used on that smaller display. To demonstrate that uh, on a video, we're just using the, the rich client. And so you can see that I have shrunk my rich client down to a, a pretty small window that is the standard resolution for most smartphones or, or tablets. And you can see that we have this new incident form with same type of fields that we saw on the previous incident form. Um, of course, and I, I just removed certain fields that weren't needed because we need to now accommodate this smaller space. But simply by changing the width of our window, we're able to go from our standard incident form and shrink it down and reconfigure it to the adaptive form. And as you can see here, uh, you know, it's all the standard incident uh, information that we need in that, that compact view. So now let's peel back the onion a little bit and go into the administrative client and actually see how we built that adaptive form. So over here, I am in the administrative client and we're currently looking at what they call the base layout. Uh, this is just our standard incident form with all of our fields all of our fields laid out in the standard view. And in order to create an adaptive view, you can come here and click the green plus symbol and this will prompt you for the credentials or the, the configuration of the particular layout that you're looking for. And so, um, you know, we'll, we'll just give this a name. We'll, we'll call it mobile and we'll give it a width of, let's say, 414 characters, pixels. And then we'll give it a height of 1048. And you can specify minimum width if you want, and then uh, a color as well. Uh, for the bar, we're going to pick a different color just for demonstration purposes, so you can see it uh, laid out on the screen. We'll go with a brown, and then we can click on Save. And we ran into a, a little error with our, our width here because we already have that same width. And so I'm going to specify a different width, and then we're going to go ahead and save. And so now you can see my new form here and if I click on this bar what it does is that it now gives us this red line that goes all the way down the screen and essentially everything to the left in between the ruler and that red line is our new space to work in. Um, you can see the previous form that I created the mobile technician form if I click on that one you can see this is the the white field that we have from the red line uh, all the way over to the ruler and then we just place our fields um, in there uh, as as desired and so on this mobile form you just go ahead and and remove the fields uh, that uh, from your incident that you want in that new area and delete out what you don't want and then this is this is exactly what you have and then you can save it and that'll come up as your your new adaptive layout 
but uh, for the demonstration uh, purposes here, that's how you would create a new one. Um, we're going to go ahead and look at the mobile technician one that I've already done. It's already formatted the way I wanted it to, and it has all those fields on the incident that are uh, configured correctly as, as uh, you know, read-only and has all the uh, one steps and functionality already built into it. And so these are our, our fields and values. And you can make modifications to here as needed. Um, but there you have it. Uh, that is how you would build out your adaptive form that you want to use. One really important thing to know when working with your adaptive form is to be mindful of which form that you have selected. And as you can see, you have this little arrow uh, on the form that you currently have selected and, and that is active. Um, one thing that you really want to make sure that you don't do is start deleting fields off of your main incident form, uh, only to find out that you had that form selected instead of the adaptive form and when you're initially starting to build out that form you see everything it just has this like i said red line is your your left uh, your right border and you want to put those fields in the space between that border and the ruler on the left okay now that we have our adaptive form created for incident we also want to go and create an adaptive form for our task. So we can just simply go over to our supporting task object, selecting task and edit the form. And as you can see, this is our base layout of the default form that we already have uh, set up and configured for the way that we want our system to handle it. And then you go through the same process where you add a new adaptive form. You would specify the same parameters that you, you did uh, with the incident, your width, your height, give it a name, maybe type in a description. And of course you can select one of your colors so that you can quickly uh, decipher between which adaptive layout that you're working with. Additionally, you can also go to the tab form for task which is a different view of the task and you can create an additional adaptive form for different forms of that business object and so for here we have uh, another task form now initially when i went into this I started with my tab form and I built out this mobile technician form, had it all set up, and then I thought that I probably want to include that to the default form as well. So once I had it already done for the tab form, I was just able to copy all of my fields and elements from this adaptive form for mobile technician and I just simply went into my default form, created a new adaptive layout with the same width and height, and then I just pasted those fields in there. So regardless of whether or not we're using the default form or the tab form, we're able to take the same adaptive form and it'll look the same. One other last thing that I wanted to mention is that you may have noticed that we went in here to create our layout that they had this section uh, just titled Use Preset Layout. This is essentially just a way of creating a template that you want to use. So maybe you already have a certain dimension that you want to work with. Well, you can go ahead and you can set that up like I did here for the mobile technician. Uh, out of the box, there is also a, a small and embedded uh, layout that you can select from, but as you can see, you can create your own as well. Well, I hope that this was informative for you and, and that it gave you a little first look at what adaptive forms are and how they can be used within the ShareWell CSM system. If you uh, have any questions, by all means, uh, uh, drop us an email at Beyond20. Let us know uh, what you're thinking and, and what other video ideas you would like to see. Otherwise, you can check out more videos at YouTube.com. Thank you. Thank you.